Hey everybody, this is Jason with Brett's Brick Builds. We're looking at LEGO City Kit number 60418, Police Mobile Crime Lab Truck. Has 674 listed pieces, five minifigures, one crime lab truck, a brick separator, various other little pieces for the crime scene investigation, a quad, and a crime scene to be investigated. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at this kit. First off, take a look at the minifigures. From left to right, we have the crime scene tech, and then we have the lady police officer, and we've got the guy police officer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of their uniforms. From left to right, we have the guy police officer. He's got the bulletproof vest on with the radio with cord and all. In the middle, we've got the lady police officer. She's got a belt mark and the symbol for the police department there in Legoland. And the tech on the right has the police logo on the back for the technician at the crime scene. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the bad guys. From left to right, we've got our escaped fugitive. He's got the prison orange jumpsuit on over the traditional stripey suit. He's got a smarky look on his face and his beanie on. Then his partner in crime, she has on her headphones around her neck. She's got the pink hair going on, also wearing the orange outfit, but she's got on black gloves and a purple jacket over that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of them. On the back, not really a whole lot of excitement there. She's got her purple hoodie on, and he just has the back of the orange jumpsuit that we can see. She does have one other face option. I'll go ahead and show that to you. There is her second face option. It's the old 180 degree printing on the other side of the head. So you've got two options with her on what kind of scale you want her to have. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the quad. Quad bike is pretty simple, pretty quick build. It does have the not so much suspension as roll around area. There's no springs in there. Just kind of the, the suspension setup that we've seen on some of the others. On the rear, you've got the brake light. Both sides are the same. There's no decals on this portion of the build. And from the front, there's a headlight. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the crime scene situation that we've got. One. Here we have the crime scene area. First off, we got markers for evidence. And then we have a set of handcuffs here that the guy was able to slip out of. We got footprints here going into under the manhole cover. And when we lift the manhole cover, Inside there, we see that there's a crowbar set up for him to use for part of his escape, I'm assuming. We also have a wanted poster for his lady friend that is going to help him get away from the cops if their plan goes to fruition. This is a pretty simple piece, kind of built out. One little section. Close that. I did have some trouble getting that sticker on centered. That's my fault, not the kits. It took several tries and I finally had to kind of give up. So that's, a, that's as good as I did it. And uh, that's also why I'm not a big fan of decals. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff that the crime scene people use. The actual crime scene kit, got a couple pairs of handcuffs. There is a spyglass slash magnifying glass. There is a camera. There's the markers for evidence. There's the crate that everything fits in. And then there's an accessory light so they can light up the scene at night so they can continue on with their investigation. Let's take a look at the next piece in the kit. The piece also comes with a brick separator. I know it's not a big deal, you know, and we've all seen them, but it is part of the kit. So I just wanted to let you know you do get a brick separator with this kit. Now let's take a look at the mobile police crime lab truck. The mobile crime lab truck, it's a six wheel vehicle, pretty good size has uh, several play features on it. One of them being these doors here. They're accessible from both sides. Allows you to put in that crate with the crime scene investigation equipment and the light. From the front, it does truly have room for too many figures in it, as we can see there. It's not the old where it's like double wide, but there's still only room for one. You can put two figures seated next to each other in it. The doors do not open on this. Again, from the other side, we see where the light and investigative equipment is kept. And at the rear, we have a keypad. Go ahead and let you in and out of the holding facility 
built in on the back of the truck and there's our criminal guy right there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the big play features of this thing. From the side of the Crime Lab truck on the driver's side, there's a handle here. Go ahead and lift that and it'll flip up this into a two-story investigative situation that they've got on the truck. There's rolls down right here for steps to get into it. And let's go ahead and take a look, closer look at what's in there. On the top floor of the Climb Lab truck, we've got two seats for two police minifigures. Got their coffee cup. Naturally, there's a donut over here because we're dealing with police. Then we have a map of the area here. We got the physical wanted poster on this side. And it looks like we've got a picture of our wanted thief with his crowbar getting ready to break into this car here. Now let's take a look at the lower lab level. On the lower level, which is the lab level, on the right we've got the standard coffee maker, because you know stuff is not going to happen unless there's some coffee flowing. Next to that we've got either a beaker or a drink container of some kind. Next to that in the middle we've got a set of stairs going up to the second level. To the left of the stairs we have a 500 time magnification electron microscope they're using to look at some stuff. And then we've got our lab tech standing right there, getting ready to do her work in the lab. Overall, I like the build. There's a fair amount of decals with it, but not, not too many. An acceptable, what I would call an acceptable amount. It's not like some of the uh, LEGO Speed Champions kits where the decals go on forever. It went together nicely. Uh, the only thing I did, I initially put this on the wrong way. This has to be flipped over upside down when you're building it so that this, when this flips up, it's in the right position. And by that, I mean right side up. I thought it went together nice, pretty thoughtful in the way that they had everything together. There's a lot of playability. Uh, I might have missed that. There's also a uh, satellite dish on the back that you can turn whatever direction you may choose to. I would recommend it as a kit, as an addition to your LEGO City build. That was LEGO City kit number 60418, Police Mobile Crime Lab Truck. 674 listed pieces, five minifigures, a quad, a crime scene to be investigated, a mobile crime lab truck, some various crime scene accoutrement, and a brick separator. We'll be back in the future with more reviews and builds. If you would be so kind as to give us a like and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Helps the algorithm, helps the channel out, helps us out, and therefore helps you out. We just want to say thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.